today we're going to make some image planes in Maya and it's step. I already got my image planes. I've got a turnaround here. Uh, this is an old character that I, I did and the turnaround basically is set up so that it's all lined up in the grids. Then what I'm going to do is go to my Maya. I'm going to create a plane here, something like that. And with that in mind, then what I'm going to do is go into my Hypershade Editor. I'm going to create a standard surface because that's what's cool and everyone's using now. And I'm going to go into my spec map, or specular weight, and move that down to zero. That'll stop any reflections that you've got going on. And then I'm going to go into my RGB values, check file, choose my file. So I'm going to go to my desktop and scroll down through all my massive folders, choose my image and say, okay. And then I'm going to move this off to the side and grab that, right click, assign material to viewport selection. And I have attached material there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and you'll notice that the UV is kind of off. So I'm just gonna to go to my edge mode, go move, and I'm gonna just move that up like so. And you can always see what you're doing by checking the little world or a little material box here. Um, so it'll show textured and you can make it as tall as it needs to be, scale it around, make sure it looks right to what you're looking at. And then from there, I'm going to close my UV toolkit and I'm going to start breaking it apart. Shift right click, go to multi cut and then hold control down and my multi-cut is like so. And if you want to do the do the head as a separate object, we can do that. And then I'm going to just do the arm here, and we can do that as a separate object. And then what I can do with the multi-cut is simply break apart things even further. Hit enter. And then if I want to break these heads apart, I'm just going to break these heads apart. It doesn't need to be perfect. There we go. I don't know, somehow I created a circle here. So we're going to fix that up real quick. And then ultimately grab these planes that I don't want to use and I can hit delete. There we go. Now, I'm going to go into face mode and I'm going to grab, holding shift down, I'm going to grab the objects here and I'm going to go into mesh, edit mesh here and I'm going to just detach and that will allow everything to separate. Um, I don't need it separated, but I'm going to just double click my tools here, make sure I've got my set snap here to relative 90 degrees, that works fine, and then I'm going to Take this one here and move it, rotate it 90 degrees. It would be counterclockwise. And that will basically mean the front is facing the front. And on this one here, I'm going to rotate it 180 backwards. And then this one here, I'm going to rotate it clockwise one. So even though they're all different, I basically have them moved. Now what I'm going to do is move this one here. And I'm going to roughly put it something like that and you can always tweak it later I'm gonna grab the front facing and remove it down and then on this one here I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna just move it up and so that's relatively close and then this one I'm going to rotate it like so. And then I'm going to go into object mode, grab the whole thing and rotate it up and move it up above it. So I like working above the grid. And then what that gives me is this, I can see that one is wrong here. So I need to rotate this 180. Bam, like so. So now what I have is I have the front, the side and the back all facing in the right directions. And then over here, I have this arm and I need to rotate that just to make sure it's facing in the right direction. 
and I'm going to move it wherever I want. I can model that separately too, so that's not that big a deal. And then over here, I'm just making sure that these line up. Now, if you didn't line them up in Photoshop or if you had to move it like this, the simple way to fix this is go in and create a new plane. So I'm just going to grab here and I'm going to just make some small planes and I'm going to move that over here like so. And so this is a simple fix. So I'm just going to basically move that up here like this. Uh, I'm going to actually duplicate and just move that up. So like here's my nose and I'm going to duplicate again. And here's my eye line. So that's that's relatively good. And then all I have to do is go into the face mode and make sure things are matched accordingly. So there's my chin. Chin lines up. I've got my nose so I can kind of adjust these accordingly. And if I need to scale a little bit just to kind of fit things in there, um, we can kind of adjust that too. So you can kind of line things up that way. And so that's pretty close to, we'll call that good. And then we do not need those planes anymore. So delete all three. And so now we've got our image planes floating around. The black though is something that we need to change. So I'm gonna to go to polygons and backface culling. And now we can see through the image planes. And that is ultimately how to create that. Don't forget to go into your layer editor and make sure that you select it and then make sure that we lock that layer with an R and that'll show you the rendered. So now I can basically move around, model, um, look at my image planes and then I can go here in my image planes and I can see them like so. Now if this is in the wrong direction just go and switch the orthographic to the left and you can model off the left and the front perfectly fine just like anything else and there's your image planes all set to go I hope uh, that helps you out and if you have any questions feel free to ask uh, if you like this subscribe and check out my other stuff take it easy